So I'm here at Almost Music Records and Books and see if I can put Levinstone in there and I'm going to meet with Derek Higgins. Here we go. Yeah, they just, uh, it was Kyle, he picks it up on, you know, I recommended, he'd never heard him before, and I said, you know, he didn't listen. So here we are, and, uh, and, Derek, and, uh, I'm sorry, your name was again? Brad. Brad. And here's Brad, and, uh, so, I'm just kind of videotaping him looking at my records and stuff, and, uh, okay, another grail so for me, I'm, grail for me, I'm telling you guys, I got really lucky, um, on the 127 highway, um, I found a Doors 2, Strange Days, Doors Strange Days record, mono, in, and it's also a, a promo marked with the promo marking, and it's in beautiful shape, it plays beautiful. The cover Well, the cover is not bad, but it could be better. But what do you want for a mono of Strange Days? I mean, it, trying to find these is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. It's got the one number here, or it tells you stereo, and then on the on the front and the back it tells you mono, and uh, and then having it be a promo after that. I mean, you know, I got this for a dollar. Um, I was pretty happy to get a hold of it. Um, this was a swap uh, for one of my records at a Chicago store. And uh, been uh, looking uh, forward to hearing this. I was, um, not only have I heard about them from Derek Higgins, but I was also reading um, on Sean Lennon. Um, I like his new band, uh, Tiger and the Ghosts, something like that. But um, I have I have some of their stuff on DVD. They've played on David Letterman show and stuff like that. Really liked it. I, I want to get hold of some of their records. I just haven't had a chance to uh, pick any of them up. Every time I've went to look, they didn't have them. But I will. I'll get hold of some. But he always he was ranting and raving in an interview that I saw about the West Coast pop art experiment band, experimental band. Sorry. So um, uh, I picked. I swapped. One of my records for this record. Uh, it's uh, part one. And it's in really great shape. Original pink, green, yellow label. Beautiful. Yeah, this is awesome. So we, we picked up uh, Derek, Derek Bailey. Bailey on solo guitar. I'm, Derek ba I'm sorry. Derek Bailey on solo guitar uh, here at Almost Music. Almost Music. And, uh, <laughs> so we're definitely going to be wrestling. Some of the things that. that I got when I was visiting with Derek. Of course, I got his Encounter magazine with his uh, uh, Punk Pioneer picture. I picked up uh, his Derek Higgins and Dino Felipe 45. I should say he gave that to me, actually. Um, I bought Murphy. On that blue-green vinyl. Very cool, Derek. Yeah, that's something if I had the money, I'd be grabbing that right away. Okay. The Frederick Rizuski. Rizuski, yeah. yeah. So you got an original uh, T-shirt, too. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is obviously a first run of this. Yep. Okay. Yep. Because I have one. And how do you know it's first run? It's got the six eye. Oh, it's six uh, eye. Yeah. Joe Bad Self. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those six eyes, yeah. I have a couple of Miles six eye ones. Mm -hmm. Those are um, nice. In pretty good shape, too. I got really lucky I on Flyover, yeah. which is a soundtrack for a film on splatter vinyl. Very cool. And I really like uh, the cover. 
And the inside cover is really cool as well. Showing Derek. Um, his music is perfect for soundtracks. Um, I find it uh, intriguing and uh, I find it uh, different. Uh, it, it, uh, it keeps your brain working. Um, I also got Nice. Nice was a little different than those. I uh, There's more singing on this, on Yellow Vinyl. And um, there are some songs that I, I like, and there are some songs that I don't because the singing um, I don't like as much. But um, still, a very nice effort. Yeah, that's Olivia Newton-John. Or no, no, I'm sorry, uh, Deborah Harry. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Deborah Harry, Wind in the Willows. Yeah. Here's a, this is collectible, Morning Glory, Two Sons Worth. Um, the engineer on this album is John Cale of the Velvet Underground. Wow, okay. Yeah, he also plays viola on it. That's a good album. It's a good album. Uh -huh. And in my opinion, the first heavy metal band, Blue Cheer. Yeah, I, I agree with you, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I saw John Cale in, uh, at UCLA. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he was I'm very just giving good. opinions. I just like to be honest. I know Derek would be honest with me. So, and then Clemon, which, is a, uh, which Derek played bass on, and on some of the songs, I think probably half the songs on this record and I listen to. A lot of piano work. Um, my, the, there's one song in here that I really enjoyed though, was uh, five million, I think it's five million years. Uh, that to me was the standout song. Uh, that was just the whole concept behind the lyrics of that. Uh, took me to a whole nother place. Um, very trippy. Um, I don't know if I would have liked the song as much had the lyrics not taken me somewhere. And as everybody knows, well, as everybody knows, and whether you know or not, I, I really like lyrics. I love music as well, don't get me wrong. Music can, music by itself can take you to a place for sure. But lyrics can, can really, if it's working in conjunction with the music, can really take you to a higher place, in my opinion. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes it can ruin the whole song. But it just depends. When you have that special blend of lyric and music, it can really do something. And uh, that was my favorite song on here. Um, the rest of the music I found to be kind of the same. Uh, it kind of sounded, all kind of sounded the same. But you could tell that it was well made. It was well done. There was a lot of... Uh, time and effort put into this album and and the cover art in the inside and out um, I enjoy it very much. It's been in several wow. different locations. I actually got up right up in Rolling Stone many many years ago. Wow. It uh, has a place to go. And um, So this is called Homer's? Yeah, the record store. Yeah. Okay. We're going to check that out. Well that's nice if they, they want to take your record. Yeah. I can. Got this used here. I hate seeing it used, but you know. <laughs> they do have it new back there, but dang it, somebody didn't like it. <laughs> have you seen your own records in the used section yet? No, I have not. I haven't had that privilege yet. <laughs> it sucks. I don't think so. Well, you know what I mean. You know. Hey. <laughs> As long as they're in there somehow. We're always looking for used records, you know. So you're right. <laughs> as long as they're in there somehow. You're right. You know? And your name was again? Eric. Hey, Eric. Joe. Nice to meet you. Nice Joe. to meet you. So I'm doing a little consignment thing here. Oh, I got a, a vinyl blog, so. Cool. Uh, so I'm doing a consignment thing here at uh, Home, Homeway? Homer's. Homer's. Oh, at Homer's yeah. Records. And uh, Derek's helped me out here with that. So. Or really the international vinyl community here. We just met today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's traveling through towns in California. We've been meeting people from all over the world through this vinyl community. Cool. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> very cool. Well, um, I'm going to say goodbye to Derek now. He's got a, uh, a session he's got to go to. But, Sun Ambulance. Uh, Sun Ambulance. I'm rehearsing. We have a show this weekend. Sun Ambulance uh, in Omaha.
Uh, where are you going to be playing at? Playing at Olivers. At Olivers. Yeah, it's the, it's now that's a place that if we had more time, I'd take it to because that's where all the musicians hang out. <laughs> it's a hole in the wall, but it's like at any time. And a lot of times you'll find um, traveling musicians and, and movie stars in this bar too. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So next time, eh? Next time. So I'm gonna say goodbye. And, and Derek, it was a pleasure. Oh, it's it been really awesome. was. It's been awesome. Thank Bill. you so much. Yeah. Really had a great time. Okay, guys. BC see you later. Is real, real. BC. Again, thanks, Derek. Um, I'm I'm trying to. I will try to get a hold of some of your other albums as well. And uh, listen to those. Um, I think you're a great talent, and um, I think the way that you've went about showing the world your talent is a, a wonderful thing. Thank you so much. Love, light, and peace. <laughs>